Android Oreo was just recently officially announced, and we're starting to hear more about some of the features that are coming out in that. Um, one of the more interesting things that we've seen so far is theme support. So as you know, a lot of uh, Android phones have built-in theme support, Samsung phones, LG phones, HTC phones. Uh, they have theme uh, stores and stuff like that. But stock Android, like Pixel phones and the AOSP, uh, doesn't have support for any of that. Uh, but the people at XDA, they actually discovered that Oreo is going to have uh, built-in theme engine support. And that's, uh, long story short, thanks to uh, when they acquired Sony's theme engine that's built into Android now. And so there's a little bit of like hacky stuff that you got to do, but you don't need a rooted phone. You don't need to be running a custom ROM to be able to do this. So that is pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys think about this? It's absolutely huge, I think, because yeah. this has been rumored. I'm not even rumored, but for, I guess, rumored for a very long time. I mean, back when... I can't remember what phone it was, but um, I think AOSP or something, they started uh, using like the Cyan Engine mod theme engine. And then there was like hints of it in the code and here and there. And it just like never, every time it finally got to like the final Android release, like the public software version or whatever, they would, um, they would just scrap it and they never did it. And it was just frustrating. So um, it's, it's fantastic. And like you said, it's kind of hacky right now. So there's no, I guess like Google, like a Google theme store and there's no like official themes yet, but I mean, the code is in there. Um, and those guys at XDA found a way to sort of activate it and it just sort of works and plays well with their, with yeah. their theme stuff. And it's, and it's full, full on theming too. It's not just icons. Right, right, right. It's not just like the, um, whatever it's, yeah. I mean, the you system UI settings app, notification, pull down, quick toggles, like notifications when they come in, like everything looks, like everything, it. even system apps. So they could even do a lot of apps that are already preloaded, like Gmail or something. If you don't like the way that it's white, the white background, you want a nice dark theme or whatever. I mean, like everything is included. And so now it's just kind of, I guess you just have to wait for developers and these theme, theme, themers, theme developers to sort of just yeah. um, support it and try to release some stuff for it. But it's, it's great. This is fantastic news. By do far. you guys use themes on your phones, or do you just pretty much keep it how it is when you get it? Uh, I use I use themes on my. I didn't use any on my G six. Um, I just kind of like the way that it was laid out after I put Nova on it. But I use a theme on my S eight plus. Yeah, yeah, I, I use. A, go ahead. Oh no, I was going to say I use. Um, I pretty much just use like whatever Pixel theme is kind of built into the yeah. phone, and there's usually some yeah. type. Some type yeah. of I had a pixel kind of... theme on my G6 that I liked a lot. And basically, I just like dark UI. Yeah. I, I hate opening up the settings app or pulling down the notification bar. Like <laughs> at in night? A dark room and it like <laughs> <laughs> blasted by the light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right in your face. Yeah. It's it's awful. I always go for the dark, whatever, dark material theme, dark pixel yeah. theme or whatever. So like, I usually go for something like that. I don't like the flat black. You know, a lot of people are kind of big on that and the, the battery savings. Right. The um, AMOLED black. Yeah, I, think black it's, I think that's a little overkill, personally. Yeah, but. I just like a nice, a nice dark gray. You know, nothing too crazy. But yep. um, yeah, so pretty, pretty awesome news. I wonder if they're going to actually really interested in doing this. Um, basically, what you have to do is you have to connect your phone to a desktop. First of all, you have to be running the latest Oreo, obviously. Um, but you got to connect your phone to uh, a desktop, and then there's an app that you install on your desktop, and then you get um, an app on your phone called substratum uh which is basically like a theme store that people uh in like the modding community use so it has a ton of different themes on it that people have created and then you get that on your phone um but it's not the most easiest way and hopefully like it gets better implemented in the future yeah, well, I, was a yeah, that's, I was a little that's, surprised to see that google didn't like include like an uh, like a theme store app yeah, see, I mean, and that's kind of the point is that it's it's sort of weird because when Oreo came out, it was sort of like, oh, like these developers sort of just discovered that their, their themes and all that just sort of worked with it without root, and they were, like, surprised. Yeah. So it's not, I, mean, I want to say it's not, like, officially supported by Google. I mean, you're not going to find it in the change log. You're not going to see it on the, you know, the big bullet points for Oreo's features. But um, so that makes me a little nervous that they might scrap the code in, like, a later version or something, but... Or they um, could improve it for a dot one or whatever. 
Yeah, or yeah, or maybe they're just working on like a theme section for the Google Play Store, and then they'll just release themes and stuff. So that's that's kind of what I'm really really hoping for. That'd be pretty sweet. So hopefully, we see more about this in the future. Um, but until next time, this has been the Fancast. Stay tuned to Fandroid.com for more, and we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.